In Castro Valley Sanitary District, we've been composting our food scraps and organics since 2001. Now using the same peaches we did before with the skins taken off, we're going to put them on a board and fan them out. What fanning out means cutting through, not all the way through, but just like this. That way you can push it and it makes a really nice, almost starburst presentation. I'll do that with the second one as well. Now the important part whenever you're brulee something, which is what we're going to be doing now using a blowtorch, is that your product has to be extremely dry. Otherwise, when you put the sugar on, it'll start seeping out into a juice and making a syrup. And we don't want a syrup, we want the sugar to stay a sugar on top of the wet fruit. I'm going to move this to another plate so my board doesn't burn when I'm brulee. And so what we're going to do now, now that our fruit is dry, is put on a really thick layer of sugar. That way when we brulee it, it'll keep making a really hard crust. And all chefs are a little crazy in the kitchen, so I bought myself a mini blowtorch. So now let's brulee these babies up. Start on a fairly low to medium setting, and we just want to first begin melting the sugar. Once the sugar melts on top, then we begin the caramelization. You see how first on this one I had to melt it before we started getting the color? And if you need it, you could always go a little bit more sugar and do it again. There we go, now the sugar is a really nice crisp on top while underneath we get a really juicy peach. So now we're gonna use a nice vanilla ice cream into the bottom of our bowl. I think three scoops should be good. It is a hot summer's day. If you ever notice your ice cream sticking to the scoop, it's good to dip it in some water. That'll help loosen it all up. And then right on top we'll go with our first fanned out creme brulee peach. And I also have some cake crumbs we could put around the side. Finish it off with a sprig of mint. And that's our done ice cream dish. Now let me demonstrate to you guys what this creme brulee crust has done. Do you hear that sugar cracking? It means it's really nice and hard, so we get a nice texture of that hard caramelized sugar on top and the soft, really juicy peach under. Welcome back to the final episode of CBTV's Peach episode. Now, what we're going to be doing here is creating a peach infused cocktail. First, we're going to be taking some balsamic vinegar and reducing that to reduction and lining that at the bottom of our martini glass. Then we're, going to, then we're going to be muddling, which means smashing some peaches with some basil and some ice, and finally some really good bourbon. So first, we're going to be making a balsamic reduction. Balsamic vinegar is made from a really strong and sweet red wine, so it has a lot of sugars already in here. So by reducing it, we're going to make it more into a really sweet, savory caramel, which will really help with both the basil and the peaches that are in the drink. So in here we're going to put only about a quarter cup and we want it to be reduced to about an eighth cup. We probably won't end up using all this reduction but it's good on anything that you have laying around the house. Fish, chicken, potatoes, everything. So what I have here is a lime that I quartered up. This lime is going to help add a little bit of acidity. I'm only going to put in two wedges and then one of these really nice small juicy peaches. If the peaches weren't as sweet this season, then you could add in a little bit of sugar, but these have been killer. This will also quarter up, and we'll do a full peach. Now I have a two or three pieces of ice just to chill the whole thing down. We don't want to water the drink down too much by adding too much ice, but a little will help cool it. And then some pieces of basil. I'm going to do, I think, three, four leaves, and I'm just going to tear them once. That way we get inside the basil's cellular structure and we're able to extract all the flavor and what muddling is is smashing everything together so next we're going to add in our bourbon and help infuse that bourbon with the flavors of the basil the lime and the peach 
We have about an ounce and a half of bourbon here. That's a shot and a half. If you're being crazy and having a party, feel free to go a little more. And I will just muddle it. I'm using a rolling pin because I don't need anything else. Sometimes the best tools are the improvised tools in the kitchen. And this is just enough to get the basil pounded into the peach. The peach will be pureed a little bit at this point. And that's perfect. So now that our balsamic glaze is done, we have a really thick reduced syrup. And if you want to save yourself the $10 from going to a bar, then you can make this drink at home and impress your friend. We're going to take the balsamic glaze in a spoon and start creating a spiral formation starting from the outside of the glass working in. Now hopefully this is going to create one continuous line, but even if you have separate drops, it'll still look just as good and just as fancy. And I'll add in a little bit more where my line started breaking. And the balsamic glaze has a really nice pronounced flavor that's a cross between that vinegary flavor that it was before and now more of a plum flavor. And now we're going to strain our liquid on top. And we'll slowly let it drip through. And now we're going to keep pouring our peach liquid through. If it's too thick, you could always add a little bit more of the delicious bourbon or a little bit of peach juice, something to thin it out. But try to avoid water. Simple syrup, which is a mixture of one part's water to one part sugar, sometimes helps also. Garnish it with a little basil on the side. We have a little basil sprout. And there you go. Summertime peach cocktail. In Castro Valley Sanitary District, we've been composting our food scraps and organics since 2001. 